What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is Marketing with Dev. Make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop the video just like this one. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run Facebook ads for a car dealership or if you're just a car salesman. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So of course, you're going to want to be in your Facebook ads manager and in your dashboard on the top left, we're going to select the screen create button. So depending on the type of results you're looking for, you can choose a campaign objective that corresponds with that. So for a car dealership or if you're a car salesman, you're probably going to want to do a leads campaign because you're probably not gonna be doing sales because you're not going to be buying a car online, right? They're gonna to have to come in, see the car, check it out and then buy it that way. So let's go with leads campaign. We're going to do manual leads campaign. And now that we're in, inside the campaign, let's name it. So the way we name our campaigns is like this. If the ad is going to cold traffic or people who have never seen us before, then we label it L1. If it's going to a warm audience or people who have seen us in the past, maybe they've seen our ads or interacted with us on social media, that would be L2. In the middle, we always just have the true objective of the campaign, right? So the real objective of this campaign is just to sell cars, right? So we have car sales. And then at the end, we always have the type of campaign that we're running, right? So this is a leads campaign. So we put leads at the end. And that's all we're gonna have to do on the campaign level. So let's go to the bottom right and we can select next. So we're at the ad set level now. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is name it. So we're going to remove this name and we always name the ad set, the name of the audience that we're targeting. And since we don't have that yet, we're just gonna leave this blank for now. Going down to conversion location. So you can select whichever one works for you, whether that be website, website and calls, you can even do instant forms or maybe um, just regular calls. So it depends on your business and your business model and how you guys set that up. But for this example, I'm just gonna do a website. Maybe they fill out something and then somebody calls them. Down to performance goal, we want to maximize number of conversions. For data set, make sure that you have your pixel inside there and also make sure that you create a conversion event and you select that as well. This is just a demo account for me that I'm using for this tutorial. And then going down to budget, we're gonna make sure that it's at $20 per day and we're going to be doing $20 a day per ad set and we're going to be having three ad sets. So it's going to be about $60 a day, at least for the first three to five days. And now going down to audience control. So this car dealership is going to be in Cincinnati. So let's go to location and let's put in Cincinnati, Ohio, plus a 25 mile radius. So anybody who's in Cincinnati or a 25 mile radius of Cincinnati can see these ads. And now let's go down to advantage plus targeting and we're going to switch to original audience options and then we're going to use original audience. Now we have access to the age and the gender as well. I'll recommend leaving this blank and just letting the Facebook ads algorithm find the best people that will actually convert into a lead. And now we're at advantage detail targeting plus and this is where we can select the interest that we want to use to target our audience by. So let's go into chat GPT and let's get some targeting today. Our targeting, we are going to be using our three layer targeting strategy as always. And our prompt is going to be, act as a Facebook ads expert and give me three targeting suggestions for a car salesman who sells out of a dealership in Cincinnati, Ohio. Give us three ideas using our three layer targeting strategy. Each targeting suggestion should align with each layer. Layer one, things that are directly related to the product or service. Layer two, things that are closely related to the product or the service. And layer three, things that are unrelated that our ideal prospects would also like. Wherever you guys are, if you're selling cars, if you have a dealership, wherever that's at is obviously where you would put the prompt for. So let's submit this. And as you guys can see, just like that, we get multiple suggestions for our three layers. So we have interests for layer one, layer two, and layer three. So what you're gonna do is go through these interests, infuse them with what you already know about your ideal clients and prospects, and let's paste some of these interests from ChatGPT into our Facebook ad campaign. So we got some suggestions from ChatGPT. So let's try putting some in. So we're going to go with car gurus for this first one. And now we can go back to the top and we can name this car gurus. And that's all we're going to have to do for this ad set. So what we're gonna do now is go to the bottom right and select next. And now we are on the ad level and we want to do the same thing. We want to always name our ad. And you can name it anything you want to name it that you can easily identify it when you see it. So I'm just gonna call this video one. And we're going to have the same ad copy and the same ad creative for all three ads. And the reason for this is because we're testing the audiences. So when we're testing, it's important that we make sure that 
only one variable is being tested at a time. So the other variables must remain constant. So for testing the audiences, which in this case we are, then the copy and the creative has to be the exact same. So we know that when we see a difference in results, it's actually due to the different audiences that are seeing the ads. So continuing going down to identity, select your Facebook page, and also make sure you select your Instagram account as well. Going down to creative source, we're going to be manual upload, format, single image or video, add creative. This is where we set up our creative, press that. And we're going to select video ad. This is where you can put your site links. Now here is our primary text, right? So this is where we're going to put our ad copy and our headline. So let's head into ChatGPT and let's get that. Now to get our copy, we're going to be using the same formula we've been using, which is the PAS method or pain agitation and solution method. So the prompt is now create Facebook ad copy for this campaign using the pain agitation and solution formula. And let's submit this and we get our output based off of our pain agitation and solution framework. So let's go ahead and read it. Pain, tired of dealing with pushy salespeople and confusing car prices, shopping for a new car should be exciting, not stressful. Agitation, you spend hours scrolling through listings only to find outdated prices, hidden fees, and cars that are already sold. And financing, that's a whole other headache. Solution, at blank dealership, we make car buying simple. No hidden fees, no gimmicks, just a perfect car for your needs at a price you can trust. Plus, we work with top lenders to get you the best financing options. Drive off in your dream car today. Located in Cincinnati, Ohio, limited time deals available. Click below to browse our inventory. So if you are running a campaign like this, you may want to just run it for a specific car, or you may want to run it for the whole dealership. That's going to be completely up to you. But after we get our copy and we infuse it with our own expertise and our own experience, because you know best because you've been in this industry for a long time. So you know about the people and you know about the industry in general, then we're going to copy it and we're going to go ahead and paste it into our Facebook ad campaign. So once you paste that in, we're going to go to the bottom right and we're going to select next again. And it's going to take us to media. So this is where you're going to upload your Facebook ad video. So let's go into ChatGPT and let's create a Facebook ad video script. Now to get our video script, what we're going to do is use our four step video ad formula that we always use. So the prompt reads, create a video ad for this campaign using my four step video ad formula. Step one, strong hook. Step two, credibility and introduction. Step three, give value. Give them a quick tip they can implement immediately. And step four, strong call to action. Now let's submit this prompt. So as you guys can see, it gave us our output, which is our script, and it gives us some visuals and it also gives us the narration. So car shopping in Cincinnati, stop wasting time on outdated listings and overpriced deals. Hey, I'm Blank from Blank Dealership here in Cincinnati. I've helped hundreds of buyers find their perfect car without the stress and hidden fees. Here's a quick tip. If you're car shopping, always get pre-approved for financing before you walk into a dealership. This gives you more negotiating power and helps you avoid high interest rates. Want a better deal? We'll even connect you with our trusted lenders to get you pre-approved today. Ready to find your perfect car? Click below to check out our inventory or message me for exclusive deals. Let's get you on the road today. Located in Cincinnati, Ohio, limited time offers available. Click the link and start shopping now. So again, you're going to take all of this information and infuse it with your own expertise and experience because you have so much value just from working in this industry for however long you've been working in it that you can add to this video to make it even better. And after you do that and you record it, what you're going to do is head back to the Facebook ad campaign and upload it. So let's go ahead and do that. After your video is then recorded, now we can go here and we can press upload. I already have a video here for an example. So just click this, go to next in the bottom right. Now we can trim it here if we want to, and we can crop it here if we want to, and we can add enhancements here if you want to. Then you're done. And now last thing we have to do is go down to website URL. You're going to paste your website URL right here. So whatever link you want people to see after they click your ad, you're going to paste that here. So let's go back to the ad set where it says car gurus, and we're going to go to the right and select the three dots that says action menu. So select those three dots and we're going to select quick duplicate. So what we're going to do, we're going to name it again. So since this is a copy or a duplicate of the other ad set, we're going to remove the name because this is going to have a new audience and a new name. So let's go back to Advantage Plus targeting and where it says car gurus, we're going to get rid of this because that's the first ad set. And now we're going to use some suggestions that we got from ChatGPT to fill out the second layer. So the second layer is something that is closely related to your product or your service. So we are going to use an interest like the lease, right? So leasing and buying or leasing, if you're interested in that, 
you are probably in the market for a car. So I would say that's pretty close to your product or your service. So we're going to put lease right there. And now we're going to do the same thing again, select those three dots, and we're going to quick duplicate one more time. Same thing, remove the name, go down to advantage detail targeting. And we're going to remove lease. And now this time we are going to use a layer three target, right? So layer three is something that can be unrelated that our ideal clients are also interested in. So maybe let's try something like a watch or a smartwatch, right? So let's try a smartwatch. And then you will have this campaign complete. All you need to do is press the green publish button in the bottom right. And Facebook will review your campaign. And then if it's good to go, it will be approved and it will start running. You guys want to let these ads run for about three to five days before you make any adjustments at all. And if you see good results after those three to five days, then you can increase the ad set budget by about 10 to 20%. And if you see that you're not getting great results, then you can turn those ad sets off and try targeting a new audience. If you're a business owner or an entrepreneur and you want to learn how you can save hours every single week and generate more leads and sales in your sleep, then click the link in the description and schedule your free AI impact blueprint session with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.